Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. Here's the next of the videos of Great Buildings in Forge of Empires. Um, next, I'm going to be talking about a an early Middle Ages building, which is the Cathedral of, I want to say, Aachen? Am I pronouncing that right? Aachen? I'm not sure. Um, never actually tried to pronounce it. <laughs> but it's better known as the COA. So the COA is a really good building to have. It's uh, You'll see it a lot. And it sticks around and people continue to level it because it offers some really good stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it does offer. Pretty cool looking too. A typical cathedral. Um, it's got a decent sized footprint. We'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, you'll notice that here it's giving us some attack bonus. Uh, so attacking units and defense in the current level. And then you also get some coin production. So which kind of adds up. And then... Let's jump on over and take a look. This is what it looks like in the wild. It's hiding over here next to my, my TLB behind my observatory. And let's take a look. So next, we will look at uh, the footprint. How big is this thing? It is big, it's four by six. So it's early Middle Ages. Um, let's see, construction. We have, it's gonna cost you some copper, 80 copper, 160 granite, 60 alabaster, 80 gold and 120 honey. So pretty costly, but uh, at that point you're probably producing, you're probably doing trades in the market, you're probably picking up stuff uh, from other great buildings that are contributing daily to your uh, inventory. So this isn't really uh, that big of a deal when you get to that point. It's more about getting the prints is really the name of the game so that you can get it started. Again, you need your nine blueprints plus those. Size four by six. This is going to be four, four this way by six that way. So um, once you start getting to some of these, it's really going to have a little bit of an influence on how you lay out your city because for your roads so you can make the most of it. Um, that's a whole other conversation, a whole other video, which uh, if you're interested in that, let me know. And I'll go ahead and I can just kind of weave through these different topics. Right now I'm on the kind of a great buildings kick. But if you're interested in any other topics, please leave them below in any of these videos and I will see them and um, it'll help. Uh, Help me know what would be better content to be making or better information to share. So, appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Production bonuses. Coin production and military boost. I just talked about that. So, let's take a look down here. It takes 50 forge points to unlock it or to, to get it up to level, to raise it up to level 1. And at that point, you're going to get your 3%, which is basically the same as what you're getting on your level 1 uh, Zeus, if I recall correctly. And then you're going to, but you're going to get 2,610 coins. At this point, if I recall correctly, it's been a while since I've um, actively worked in a, one of my towns or one of my villages or whatever that was at, um, at early Middle Ages. I think by then I was starting to get rid of my uh, coin producing buildings. So this was helping kind of fill the coffers. Um, it also helps when you're doing a lot of training. I think by then I'm doing training a lot of military. I I'm, have kind of an attack based city uh, in most of my worlds. And with that, there's the cost for training. So I need to keep keep grinding that as well as I may be doing goods production by then still as well. Um, so I'm probably running multiples just to grind up some uh, goods to have a full stock inventory that I could use for trading and whatnot. So that's my approach at it. Um, let's see. Get up to a level 10, cost 600. You get a 30% attack bonus, which is pretty good. And then 18,950, so that's pretty good. Um, and then you look, you can get way up there and get some nice bonuses um, if you keep growing it. But let's see, contribution awards. I bet you it's going to be the standard fare. Level 1, you get nobody gets nobody gets a blueprint level two level one gets a blueprint yeah pretty standard so 15 10 5 1 on 1 throw in some metals and so on so that's it that's the coa also called the imperial cathedral was commissioned by charlemagne and marked i want to say aiken the center of his empire i'll have to go look that up see how it's pronounced probably pronouncing that totally wrong <laughs> but hey thanks for watching uh, comments, questions, suggestions, um, ideas for future videos, um, whatever. Uh, please leave them below. Appreciate it. Take care. Have a good day.